Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, in this video, Mamdu Elzbe, otherwise known as Big Rami, can win the Mr. Olympia, but won't. Uh, why do I say that? First, let's look at why he can win the Mr. Olympia. Uh, he's not called Big Rami for no reason. He's a big man, carries a lot of muscle on him, and he makes most of the other bodybuilders that he stands next to on stage look small, hence the name Big Rami. Not only the size, that combined with the shape and structure that he has, I don't think we've ever seen anybody on stage uh, that size, with that shape and structure. Those gifts that he has, if he can nail the conditioning, come in shredded, come in peeled, nobody's going to beat him. And I don't think... Uh, you're going to find many people that want to argue that point. He, Big Rami, shredded, peeled, nobody is going to touch him. Now, the problem is getting Big Rami conditioned. You know, if you go back to 2013... And even 2014, New York Pro. Then you look at Rami on his other uh, his other competitions. I personally think he was probably best conditioned in the 2013 and 2014 New York Pro as compo as opposed to what he's brought to the stage since then. You know. Uh, you got to try to figure out why he's not getting the conditioning. Uh, he's had quite a few coaches, quite a few prep coaches. He's worked with some of the best in the, in the game. Now he's working with Chad Nichols. And, you know, we always see... Progress pics of Rami leading up to the shows, and uh, he's usually looking pretty scary in his progress pics leading up to the show, and then all the buzz starts going around, and everybody's talking about it. Okay, this is this is the year Rami's going to bring it, and then when he gets on stage. Comes come showtime, it's not what we were seeing leading up to the show. Uh, sometimes sometimes it's a far cry from what we were seeing leading up to the show. Now you can uh, you can say that he's, he hasn't stick stuck with he hasn't stuck with one coach long enough for them to learn his body and bring him in shape. But he, you see him as little as two weeks before his show, and he's looking mighty, mighty impressive. And from that point, you don't have to make any uh, big changes. You pretty much coast into the show and something happens when he steps on stage in his uh, last appearance on stage in the Arnold Classic he's working with Chad Nichols we've seen some pictures of him uh, only a couple of days before the show and uh, he looked phenomenal 
and he had that death face, which uh, that sunk, where the cheeks are all sunken in, which is an indication that you're pretty much in shape. And he stepped on stage, and once again, it was a far cry from what we saw only two days beforehand. Uh, you could say maybe Ch uh, Chad made some mistakes in what he directed Rami to do, and that was the result. But is that was that what caused it every single time we saw him before the show looking phenomenal? Then comes showtime. I'm not saying he looked bad. But nothing close to what we saw just days prior to him stepping on stage. I've said it over and over again. I don't think it has anything to do on a physical level, uh, his actual prep as far as training, uh, uh, his supplement protocol, uh, his nutrition protocol, and the last-minute adjustments that are usually made before a competition, I don't think it has anything to do with the aforementioned. I think it's all upstairs. I think it's all a mental problem. Uh, the body, you know, the body responds to stress. And if you have a lot of anxiety, stress going on, that can wreak havoc on the body, especially when you're in that depleted condition. Rami always seems to have a lot of pressure on him because everybody's always expecting so much from him. Now, if you go back to 2013 and 2014, when I personally think he probably looked his best as far as condition-wise, he really didn't have the pressure on him. He wasn't... Uh, all the hype around him wasn't built up yet. And he went went through his prep, stepped on stage, did his business, looked good, and won. But since then, uh he's had all this hype behind him, all these all these great expectations of him, and my personal belief is that he's not able to handle all that pressure that's being put on him. Now, uh, that's not making it an excuse for him because it, it's he's in that situation. But others have been in the same situation, and it's part of the game. You come along, and you, you're a great athlete. You come, come along, you have all this promise. People get all excited and hyped up, and all this hype builds around you, and there's uh, high expectations. It happens all the time. Uh, unfortunately, it appears that Rami hasn't figured out a way to deal with it. And my opinion is, if in all these years, if he hasn't figured out yet how to handle all this pressure... That's all. That all the all the high expectations that are placed on him. He's probably never going to do it. 
Uh, it's a shame. We'd love to see someone with that size, shape, and structure to step on stage peeled. It would be an amazing sight to see. Unfortunately, uh, I don't, I do not think that we are going to ever see that. Unfortunate, but I think that's just the way it's going to be. To conclude this video, yes, Rami can win the, the title. He can win the 2020 Mr. Olympia and probably multiple Mr. Olympias. If he comes in shape, if he comes in peeled, but he won't. Uh, his track record shows it. And I don't, like I said, it's beyond the physical aspect, the that part of the preparation, the training, nutrition, supplementation. It's beyond that. It's uh, it's the mindset. That's about it for this video. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, and by all means, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.